All right, dudes, a big day has just arrived, and Smash Brothers fans can unite. E3 is going to be a hell of a few days for anyone that's interested in Smash Brothers. A bit earlier, and through the uh, reciprocal that is Mega64, Nintendo made an announcement regarding their updated plans for E3, especially Smash Brothers, that they have a lot of stuff that they want to show, a lot of games that are going to be exclusive to E3, and they also kind of understand that a lot of people want to play Smash Brothers. I was already under the presumption that I was going to have to go to E3, make some contacts, and do a lot of work to get some hands-on time with Smash Brothers. Outside of, like, waiting in lines that go on forever to play the freaking game. But it looks like that's not going to be the case. There's going to be a demo available for the latest Smash Brothers game, and this demo is not going to be just available at E3. It's going to be at Best Buy stores across the nation, which I assume is only the United States. Now, the crazy thing is, is that they haven't announced how many locations this is going to be at. This could be a thing that happens at all of them. There hasn't been any announcement of how long it's going to be there either, so there could potentially be a chance that if you go to a Best Buy, they could potentially have Smash Brothers Wii U. It's not the 3DS version they announced. So far, they've only announced the Wii U version is going to be playable at a Best Buy during E3, which is at the beginning of June. They have really not announced anything else official regarding it, whether or not it's going to be the entire days, whether or not it's going to be available for certain times and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that each and every Best Buy that has it is going to have a Nintendo representative of some kind to answer questions and stuff like that. But this is just generally a really good call. Nintendo did something kind of similar the uh, the year before where they had a big demo of some of their games show up at Best Buys and other select stores across the US, but this is a big one, dude. This is freaking Smash Brothers. The biggest game, and one of the biggest games pretty much there is, that can possibly come out. You don't sell like 12 million units of your previous game on the previous system, and expect it not to be a giant blitzkrieg of people just going, oh, we gotta play the game! It's huge. It's a big deal. And it also means that I might be spending some time at Best Buys after E3 and stuff like that, and hopefully getting some hands-on time and interviews with people that know a lot about Smash to understand a lot of what's going on with the design aspects of the game, because it really seems like this game is being designed for a competitive audience, and they're really catering towards that competitive audience. And you guys know Nintendo, they kind of ignore that exists, or sometimes even go out of their way to stop it from happening for no reason. But what's even crazier is that this has now taken a backseat to what happened on their second announcement. That there's an invitational tournament for Smash Brothers at E3. That's right, an actual invitational tournament from Nintendo. Freaking head just exploded. That doesn't even that doesn't even make sense. Like that has never happened from Nintendo ever, where they acknowledge that the game has a competitive scene. That people actually play the game competitively. And usually the best that they did in the past was kind of like not pay attention to it, you know? Kind of ignore that it's happening so that they can just let them do their thing. Now they're fully acknowledging it, and this is a big deal. This is kind of similar to Capcom jumping in and supporting their fighting games, which hadn't been happening or had never really happened for a long time, and it was core events made by the fighting game community. Now Nintendo's actually getting in and holding an official event. We don't know what the prizes are, we have no idea who's going to be selected for this 16-man tournament. There's no additional details other than the fact that it's happening. It's actually happening. And in the future, if this possibly means that Nintendo could support something like a Smash League, oh my god, guys, you are running down a road that is so good that I hope that the Wii U does amazing very soon, and you are making your existing fan base that did buy the system and has been waiting for games very happy by doing stuff like releasing a demo and making an invitational tournament. These these are steps Nintendo needs to take in the right direction. What's crazy is that, alongside all this other news and information, someone got into the Nintendo press release site, and within the HTML code and stuff within the site, there was something listing a new console right alongside the invitational tournament and the Smash Brothers demo and stuff like that. Now, this could potentially mean that there's a new console coming up at E3 and they might be making an announcement, but it's most likely a search query thing that's used on Google. Normally, if you go to, like, Nintendo New Console, you actually get the website of Nintendo, and it gives you priority to get to their site. But what's funny is that normally they just leave those things in, but as soon as this stuff was leaked on NeoGAF and some forums, it was actually removed. So, whether or not that actually means something, it, it's really hard to say, but if, if I just want to entertain the thought for a sec that Nintendo might be making a new console, the only thing that I think would be acceptable is if they made a successor to the Wii U, they keep the Wii name out of it completely, and they allow the new system 
to play all the Wii U games, and they support the Wii U for like another year and a half, two years for all the titles that people were expecting for it. Make the networks completely compatible. The system would practically be the same, but literally, whatever next system, if they were making one, would be a complete graphical and a huge upgrade over the previous, and they dropped the tablet controller as well. I would only hope, I think that's one of the best things that they can possibly do right now, is to satisfy both the Wii U fan base and customers, and the new people by having the games work on both systems. Not like the new games working on the Wii U, but the Wii U games still working on whatever new hardware people might buy, and they continue to support the Wii U and make some select new games for the new system. Um, we all know the Wii U is not doing very good, and even the recent sales numbers have been even more dramatic than what we were expecting before. But dude, there's there's a lot of really exciting stuff coming out on the Wii U. Like, I'm actually excited about Mario Kart, the new one. I, I found out earlier that Bayonetta has a Japanese release date of summer, which means it's hopefully sometime after for North America's, maybe even fall. And then right after that, we got Smash Brothers coming out in winter 2014, which is most likely December, end of November, stuff like that. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming out this year. Not to mention Xenoblade could potentially be online with multiplayer, and it's pretty much the next Fantasy Star Online, since Fantasy Star 2 isn't coming to the States anytime soon. Anyway, I don't want to get on a tangent. All I'm saying is that I'm excited to actually have my Wii U be a thing, because I have barely played the system at all since I got it, and I want it to be good. I want Nintendo to have success, because these games are going to be freaking great. At least I hope so. Let me know what you guys think about this stuff in the comments below, and at least you can make your own decision once these demos get released at Best Buy's coming up during E3, which is on June 10th, 11th, and 12th. But let me know if you guys like this information. Let me know if this is good news for you if you're looking forward to Smash just as much as I am. I This is my big time to actually get decent at this game and to finally learn stuff about high-level competitive Smash and really, really get the muscle memory for how these characters move because there's no way I'm not playing Debt Mega Man. If you guys want Want to hit me up on Twitter or Facebook regarding this? My Twitter is at Maximilian underscore or Facebook, which is Maximilian Dude. Take care, folks, and I'll see you next time.